Anamari Fanthorpe, and I'll be your host today. Today we have two guests from Cisco. We've got Sam Smith and Felix Burton here to talk about Cisco's Meraki, which is a cloud networking vendor. I want to make sure I get that right. And we're going to be talking about how that can modernize your internet experience. So I know that we've got lots of good information from these two experts today. So I'll let them get started and delve in so we can get some more insight insight into how we could utilize this in our businesses. So welcome, Felix. Welcome, Sam. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Sam marie Great to be here. It's my pleasure. It's our pleasure here at Digital Boost. We always love when you guys join us and help us to be up to date. So I'm going to drop off, and uh, but I'll make sure your share screen's working before I go anywhere. Perfect. Fantastic. Well, thanks for that, Anne-Marie, and I'll um, kick it off. So um, quick intro uh, about myself. So my name's Sam Smith, and I'm a uh, account manager for uh, Cisco Small Medium Business. Um, we've got Felix, uh, who's also account manager on the Cisco collaboration side. And uh, today, what we're going to be running you through um, is Cisco Meraki. So a lot of you may have heard of Cisco Meraki. Uh, Cisco Meraki are a cloud networking vendor, so uh, we pioneered uh, cloud networking way back in 2006 uh, and then were acquired by Cisco in 2012 when they saw the value and that consumer market shift over to cloud from uh, that on-premise networking. Uh, we now have 630,000 unique customers across the globe so we've, we've really grown and what we're going to take you through is a bit of an overview on what is Meraki, how it all fits together. Um, so we'll, we'll jump into it. And if we just jump over the next uh, slide. So Meraki is a secure, simple cloud managed networking platform. And what do we mean by this? Uh, by secure, um, obviously for any business of any size, that's one of the most important um, features at the moment. And we mean that we leverage industry leading security features. And we also lean on Cisco for some of their best in class security solutions. So we're protecting and encrypting all the data on our network. And we're also preventing uh, attacks coming um, onto our networks. And then Meraki is um, simple by design. So um, our sort of tagline is helping Meraki customers leverage our simple yet powerful uh, technology. And that will allow IT managers and IT teams to focus on their mission. So um, we're simple by design. So what we've done there is we've done away with a lot of the command line interface and some features, um, and we've distilled down into the features that you really need at the core. So the most important features that you need to run your business. So this simplifies the design, the management, the monitoring. It simplifies that uh, troubleshooting. Um, that being said, we also actively listen to our customers. So we have a, a make a wish or give your feedback section on all our dashboards. So all 630,000 customers are giving us feedback on what they need. And we do add in those most requested uh, features. And then we simplify them. We um, move them into our graphical user interface dashboard. And that way you're doing things like site to site VPN in, in three clicks. So things like that have made Meraki um, so popular across firstly smaller lean IT teams but now as we've moved up the stack we've got you know banks and hospitals and big big customers who are using Meraki because they need that simplicity to scale uh, and lastly we're cloud managed so what that means is um, we built the cloud dashboard first we've fully decoupled uh, the control plane from the logic plane, giving you the ability to go in and remotely configure, remotely monitor, remotely troubleshoot. So that gives you the output of a, of a really large uh, IT team, even if you're say a single operator, uh, you know, running, running a single site or a, a, a lean IT team running multiple sites. So that's a bit about um, what Meraki is. Jump over the next slide, please. And um, yeah, so to get an idea of why Meraki um, is so successful, you really need to understand um, how networks have evolved from uh, the network of the past, which was set up, um, you know, a traditional on-premise network. Um, you've got your head office there, and they're, they're connecting um, through an MPLS connection. So MPLS is uh, high performance, it's a private, and it's a high cost link. 
Now, over time, um, we've all seen the shift of businesses moving to software as a service applications and models. And what that's doing is it's giving us all these, you know, 10, 20 SaaS applications um, that, that you're connecting to. And it's creating a bottleneck uh, at that headquarter. So it's starting to give poor performance. Um, as you add branch offices, you have to go in and you have to add your MPLS links. Um, so that might involve signing up to multi-year projects, um, you know, setting up the MPLS links. And this does make it quite cumbersome and it does, you know, lock you in and make the business less agile. Um, so what we've done is we've started to move away from this uh, traditional model. And how we've done that, um, yeah, that's, the, that's all the, um, the SaaS uh, applications. And as you can see below with those notes, less than ideal SaaS application performance, expensive to maintain, hard to manage and monitor. Um, a lot of businesses are moving from that CapEx to the OpEx model, putting, putting everything as a service. So, so they're more comfortable with that idea um, of, of moving to OpEx or as a service. But how, how we've done this um, is we've, we've really moved that head office uh, virtually out of the way. And we're still supporting the, the remote workers or all of your branch sites um, by connecting directly to the internet. Um, so you can see there, we've started to utilize SD-WAN, Software Defined, defined uh, Wide Area Networking. And what that means is we can add in, uh, remove the MPLS link, we can add in say, um, two broadband internet connections. And we can do that a fraction of the cost and because we're load balancing across those two links, we can still approach MPLS-like performance, but at a fraction of the cost. Um, we can also connect uh, directly to the internet. Um, and what that's doing is it's removing all that bottleneck going through the, the head office, going through the firewall there. Um, so it's giving ideal SaaS application performance. Um, and then we'll take you through how we do that securely and how we give your users, uh, no matter if they're connecting from a home office out in the field or from your branch sites uh, or the HQ location. So we can give them all the same consistent, secure experience. And the cloud dashboard allows us to tap in uh, and we can do this. We can monitor, we can manage um, and we can, we can cover off the security side as well. So that's how we've evolved um, to this, this new network. So why Meraki? Um, so the big one Meraki covers in terms of a business pain point, be you, a, you know, an SMB or a, a larger enterprise is network security. So what we're doing is we're bringing um, everything into the one box, your firewall, unified threat management, um, we've got SAM boxing and intrusion prevention and detection. Um, we're simplifying the management, monitoring a lot of these complex networks. So it's just one single pane of glass. Um, there are a lot of competitors who say they'll do the cloud managed dashboard, but then you've got multiple logins, multiple dashboards. So everything's just done off, off the single dashboard. Uh, the flexible scalability. Um, so SD-WAN, um, future proofing. So what you're doing is you're just adding to the dashboard. So you'll see um, when we jump into the actual cloud dashboard, as you do pick up um, new product sets, you're just adding a tab down the side. So you've got your, um, all your different, we've actually got nine um, different hardware uh, items that you can add in and then access from the dashboard. Um, if you do have a lean IT team, you can do what you've been doing if you're looking at a sort of break fix mentality. Um, you can get on top of that with say a junior um, network engineer, a lot of what you've been spending your time on and that can then increase your, your effectiveness without hiring more headcount and you can start getting out from behind the scenes and getting into the boardroom, working on you know digitalization or working on larger IT initiatives uh, and then you know building that competitive um, moat uh, between your competition by, by focusing on those larger, uh, more valuable projects. Um, troubleshooting, we'll see in the dashboard, but you can jump in because you've got all a single vendor across your full networking stack um, from that routing and firewall, uh, the switching and, and wireless. If there is an issue, you're not dealing with multiple vendors, you can pinpoint that issue very quickly uh, and that time to resolution is, is chopped right down. Um, so that covers off on that save time 
piece as well. Uh, and then reducing the total cost of ownership. If, if you're um, you know, spending time just working on managing or, or fixing um, problems on the network, um, that's, that's time that is you know, essentially wasted. Um, and then with the quality high performance solution, so um, Meraki is definitely not the cheapest out there, but Meraki is it's very high quality. So we have um, units out there, um, we've got MR12 or MR14 uh, access points that were launched back in about 2012 or 14, running away happily on um, 802.11n, Wi-Fi 4, um, and, and you know, they've been going for years and years. If, as long as you've been re-licensing them, they're fully covered. Uh, if, if one of them does finally die, we'll just replace it with the next closest model that's, that's being sold at this time. So that's the sort of key why Meraki um, business pain points that we're out there solving for you. Now here are the products. Um, so we've, we've got nine now. We started off with, with wireless, with that wireless mesh um, where we pulled out the uh, controller hardware. And then from there, we've built out uh, into cloud managed switching uh, our, um, all, all the products um, in terms of our routing firewall, SD-WAN, uh, our MX, that's, that's all, all done uh, in the same box. Um, our Meraki switching, uh, MR's the wireless, Meraki radio. MG is our cellular gateways, um, so that's a, that's a new one. Um, Meraki vision, our cameras, MT, um, IoT sensors, systems manager, and Meraki insight is the application performance monitoring software. Now, uh, a great way, we won't go too in depth into, into all these products and, and sort of how they um, work, but what we'll do is we'll just paint you a picture of how Meraki um, comes together and, and what a Meraki network looks like. So if we just start clicking through, um, you'll see here what we have is uh, our first piece, which is a Meraki dashboard. So as soon as you get any products, you'll have access to this Meraki dashboard. Uh, and then you can control and monitor via the cloud. Um, so none of your user traffic goes up to the dashboard. Uh, it's just the, the management um, that's sent down. Uh, and if you were to lose connection to the internet, uh, it'll just keep the, that last setting. But then we've got our MX. So this is um, now our most popular selling unit. And that's because it bundles in your router, um, your next gen firewall, unified threat management, SD-WAN. Uh, we've got our famous auto VPN, um, this 4G failover built in. So our MX67C models, MX68CW, C stands for cellular, and that has a you know 4G SIM slot. So you can have that device. You can plug in two um, broadband internet links, whatever um, WAN links you like. And then you've also got your 4G cellular failover. So you've got three links at each site um, with that cellular backup included just in the one box. You're not paying for a firewall, a router, or SD-WAN appliance and having you know two or three boxes. They're, this is doing it all in, in the one box. That's why it's so popular. Uh, and then from there, you'd, you'd add on your switch. So we've got um, PoE switches, multi-gigabit ethernet, um, virtual stacking. So there's a lot of um, pieces there. And then we can connect our, say, Windows end user client. Uh, we've got those 4G, so the cellular gateway. So with a cellular gateway, um, it's inbuilt on the MX for some, but if you want a pure cellular gateway, so you've got a um, maybe a comms cabinet that's you know in the middle of a building or in a basement and you can't get that signal, we can run that you know near a window or out to the roof. Um, we can load balance across to um, 4G as a primary cellular link. So um, yeah, they're they're a very popular unit as well that you can add on. Uh, now we've got our Access points. So this is where Meraki started. Um, we've got our indoor and outdoor access points. Um, so we've got Wi-Fi 6, so 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, 6 gigahertz, um, 6E, which is um, 6 extended. So that's our answer to the sort of spectrum congestion. But it's a single access point that gives you access. Um, there's a lot of security features on there. We can do firewall and traffic shaping across uh, on the wireless LAN. Uh, there's location analytics, wireless heat maps, uh, there's a fourth radio dedicated to wireless security that picks up rogue SSIDs. There's so a lot that you can do just off this access point. Um, you can even set up a VPN tunnel from an M MX at a um, headquarter site to a MR access point at a remote site, and then you can secure the wireless 
um, broadcast at home to create split tunnel VPN. So there's a lot um, that you can do just off that access point. And you can see now we've got more clients connecting uh, as we do. Uh, we've also got our systems manager, so we can push out firmware updates, enforce policies, uh, remote manage, we can wipe, uh, we can geofence. Um, so there's a lot that we can do there. Uh, and then we added our MV uh, cameras. So the MV cameras um, are hugely popular. They're, they're smart cameras. So we've got the outdoor indoor models again, and they're fully digital. And we really call these visual sensors uh, on your network. So often you're replacing um, expensive and unwieldy network video recorder systems. Um, and with that, you're replacing the need for expensive training, troubleshooting, maintenance. So the cost savings we've been seeing, particularly on a lot of large customers who are moving off big CCTV networks have been really incredible. Um, you can break away from thinking only about physical security with these Meraki Vision cameras. So they'll perform their compute and they actually hold storage on board the camera itself. And, and doing this compute on the edge um, removes the need for costly and powerful servers. And that can then open up um, you know, new horizons for you. We've got our Open REST API um, and they allow developers to go out and create business use cases, solutions to, to a lot of common problems. So if we can squeeze it in, I'll show you some of our, um, our Meraki ecosystem partner marketplace. So I call that our version of the, the Apple uh, App Store. And you can go in there and you can access pre-built um, APIs. And, and there's a lot there, um, you know, we've got, interest, um, area of interest, motion detection, people counting, foot traffic heat maps. Um, there's a lot of number plate recognition, social distancing APIs, um, PPE wearing alerts, uh, suspicious person detection. So we've got over 180 different ones now. So they're, they're being added every sort of week and month. Um, so really exciting um, new product. And that MV camera just fits in seamlessly into the dashboard. And, and now we're starting to talk to not just, you know, IT, but we'll have um, security teams and facility management teams, and we can give different levels of access to each of those teams. We can easily export footage. So there's a lot to unpack there in the cameras, but they're, they're really making waves in the industry. Uh, and then we've got our uh, IoT sensors as well. So um, going on from the camera success, um, they'll pick up things like temperature, humidity, air quality, uh, open close, often that works. Um, in concert with, with the camera where we can be alerted. A lot of aged care homes might alert when a door opens and say a dementia um, patient leaves from somewhere they're not meant to be. Um, water leaks um, you can save a lot of money and say, you know, if you've got switch stacks um, there and we can feed back um, uh, through the MT sensor back to any Wi-Fi 6 access point or, or MV Meraki camera. So a lot of um, businesses will just start out with say an MX or just our MR um, access point line. And then as they um, refresh or as needs come up, they'll start expanding their footprint. Uh, and really the power of the dashboard does compound when you can trace back through it um, to troubleshoot really quickly. Um, we've got our Meraki Insight as well. Um, so that's our uh, application performance monitoring software, and that runs off the back of the MX. So, um, you know, if there's an issue with, um, say, um, slow sales force, we can sort of go and trace that back from the client um, to the access point to the WAN, um, you know, right back to the application server itself. Um, ISP, we can see where that issue is, and then you can hold ISPs um, service providers accountable if they're not meeting SLAs. So we can we can pull that data, we can create thresholds, um, packet loss, um, latency, jitter, things like that. And if it's, they're not performing, we can alert. Um, so it's a, it's a really popular one as well that we can just bundle in with your MX. But uh, yeah, that's that's a sort of Meraki network. We've got um, teleworker units uh, as well. So if if you have someone who wants to, um, you know, VPN to your headquarter, we can we can send out those little teleworking units, um, and and that is the in, um, pretty much the entire Meraki um, network there. Um, with the security piece, I won't go um, into too much detail on this because you could probably spend the entire time we have just on security. But what we're really doing is Cisco and um, Meraki are amalgamating in many areas, and none. Um, more so than uh, on the security front. 
So Talos um, is the world's largestly um, privately owned security company. And so engineers are out there actively identifying threats, marking them up and then pushing out um, those threats to all Cisco uh, security appliances, all Meraki security appliances. And what this means is if you're a small business, you've got the value of having this sort of top end enterprise grade uh, security solution you know all all year round working on your behalf and it's just rolled up into that mx advanced security license um cisco there's a lot there that we've just rolled into that license um uh, advanced malware protection threat grid um might just tell a quick story on this one the wanna cry um is a good example so um threat grid is integrated as part of that ant ecosystem and once they identified wanna cry just based on its characteristics, AMP was able to detect, analyze, uh, and protect against this unknown malware at the time. And they blocked it across every single Cisco threat surface. So endpoints to email gateways, to firewalls, Meraki MXs, uh, web proxies. AMP successfully uh, detected and blocked WannaCry from executing. So a lot of IT managers woke up in a bit of a panic when they heard about uh, WannaCry. And a lot of them had you know, people they know who had an unpatched Windows server who were affected. If you had an MX uh, appliance, you were, you were fully protected and that got pushed out sort of on day dot. Um, so all of these are rolled up. Cisco Umbrella we're doing a lot more with now. So if you want to protect um, your remote workers and have them connect directly to the internet, we can do that um, through a number of ways through Umbrella. And I'll quickly touch on licensing. Uh, so core to our offering is um, the licensing piece. So all hardware comes with a matching license and it provides you with full dashboard access. Uh, all of your firmware updates, patches, everything is included. It's pushed out. Um, the next piece is the 365 day a year, 24 seven phone support. So if you've got an issue, um, you can sort of use them to extend um, your, your offering. Um, call up, they, they can jump in and fix it with you as a sort of first level of support. Then you've got your MSP um, as well, who can raise a ticket and tackle it from that angle. Uh, and then the warranty. So as long as you're licensed, everything's covered under that full lifetime warranty. So you're really insuring um, your hardware while you're running Meraki. Um, now companies are moving to more of that SaaS offering uh, what we'll sometimes do is look at longer term licensing. So you can see there, we've got one, three, five, seven, and 10. Often what we'll do is, you know, we might even go those three year, five year match hardware refresh cycles. But um, that covers the, the sort of licensing piece. And I just thought I'd squeeze in a quick um, customer uh, success story. Let's jump over to the next one. I'll skip, skip that one. Uh, so vehicle testing New Zealand. So um, there's so many Meraki case studies that, that I could have picked here. Um, vehicle testing New Zealand, uh, although they are quite large, um, they've got 1200 employees across 150 locations. Um, they manage over 1 million safety vehicle inspections per year. Uh, I thought this was a really good one because what they did is they moved um, away from a system where they had no visibility um, the IT department had a lot of their sites down sort of every week. Um, when the IT manager was coming into work, you know, every day was which site's down, how are we going to fix it? So um, what they did originally was move to that SD-WAN topology and, and that was just for the reliability piece. So they had, um, you know, over 100 networks. Um, they set up that auto site-to-site -site VPN. They set up the SD-WAN, so they had the... Um, redundancy there with with the three connections um, so they they found um, a bit of a impressive stat here is that they had 20 percent lower costs um, with the new broadband broadband uh, and cellular gate um, backup link 20 percent lower cost with 20 times more bandwidth so it's not often in IT that you can you know improve uh, performance and, and redundancy and lower cost. Um, so that was a really big one. Now they've standardized um, at each site as well. So they have their MX appliance, uh, they're switching their wireless access points, and they're looking forward as well at what they can do for future use cases. So they've now got the Meraki cameras um, and it's part of their digital transformation shift. And what they're doing is um, as, as a customer drives in, there's a camera um, at the top above um, 
each bay and they'll see the number plate. They'll have that in the system instead of having the customer jump out of the car and, you know, go stand in a line, get ready to check the car in. That's all done automatically um, and they, they're ready to go as soon as they're in there. They know who the customer is, what they're there for, and they can jump out and, and take the car. So that's a, a great example of, of using those Meraki Vision cameras, the smart cameras, to increase business um, agility and, and look at those sort of future use cases. Um, we've also got uh, a Meraki developer page. Um, I'll put the links down, developer.cisco.com. And we've got pre, pre-built APIs in there, a lot of them around automation. So if you're um, adding organizations, admins, adding networks, uh, VLANs, devices, we can configure thousands um, you know, of devices, thousands of sites in minutes um, because we're just configuring once and then pushing that configuration template down from the cloud. So we've got pre-built APIs. And then we've also got our, um, if we jump over to our Meraki marketplace, it's apps.meraki.io. Um, we've got a lot of these amazing pre, pre-built uh, ecosystem partner APIs. So there's, there's quite a few in there that are doing things like uh, PPE, um, detection, suspicious person detection. Um, you know, we've got them in big banks. Um, we've got uh, wait time is a really interesting one for venues. So we can have a look at, um, you know, which exit or which um, food uh, queue is, is the least busy. And then we can flash that up um, via the digital signage in, in the venue. And that way you're getting a better experience if you're at the footy, you're not lining up at the congested queue, you're going to the shortest one. So um, that's one that I can share as well that we can, we can look over in a bit more detail. Um, I've got my details at the end here. I've also got Lachlan Coley. So he's a New Zealand uh, account manager for Cisco Meraki. So um, there's his email. Feel free to email either of us. Um, we've got this um, actual slide deck demo as a YouTube in, in a bit more detail. So we can you can watch that your own time, slow it down. But any questions, feel free to send them through. And thank you uh, very much for your time. Oh, I don't have my video on. Where are we? Oh, you. <laughs> what's happened? <laughs> oh, goodness me. What's happening with the video? There it is. <laughs> Gallery. There we go. Hello. <laughs> I was like, too much me. No, that was wonderful, <laughs> Sam. Um, I actually dropped all of the links to those little supportive materials across all the platforms. I can see a lot of you guys watching, especially on LinkedIn. Um, so, if you're wanting to watch some short videos on what is Meraki, a general overview, that link's in the in the chat there, and as well as uh, another link that we've provided. What was the, the title of that link? I'm so sorry. There was one Cisco, oh, the Meraki customer story. That's right, vehicle testing in New Zealand. This is, um, you know, for me, I can see the uh, accessibility and the plausibility for certain businesses. And what I love about it is that I, you know, I'm following along and learning so many new things. You know, there's so much out there in the world that I'm not aware of. And I love when a session comes along where I go, oh, I might need to watch this again. <laughs> <laughs> So appreciate that. Now, I wasn't sure if Felix was going to jump on at some point um, and if there was something that he needed to share. Um, yep, um, I'm still here. I, I can't turn my video on. Oh. But, so. <laughs> How about now? There oh, there we, we go. Are. Awesome. Right. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say, um, obviously, thanks to Anna Marie for hosting the session and thanks to Sam for walking us through the Meraki product. Um, that was awesome and I hope it was beneficial for everyone. So um, if any of this was interesting and insightful, please be sure to join uh, next Monday. So we're having a session around Cisco and Meraki and our specific offerings to small business. So you'll see Sam covered a number of products there, but some of them are um, definitely specific to small business and we've got an offering for Digital Boost that we're going to um, kick off next week on that session. We also have a um, free security health check for small business, which we're looking to um, yeah, help small businesses obviously understand where their business and security is vulnerable and we can help you identify those threats and then work to obviously um, put a plan in place to solve them. So yeah, appreciate everyone's time and look forward to seeing you next week.
Absolutely. And um, what I think, you know, as small business owners, a lot of people over, they skip over security. And I think that that's just such a misstep because that foundation doesn't allow you to scale really easily when you've got all your stuff set up from the beginning. You can just scale your business. You don't have to worry about those data leaks. You don't have to worry about when you add employees on um, and making sure that you have to uh, put new things in place and cause all this rejigging. Get yourself set up from the beginning. And we're lucky to have experts like the Cisco team come on and help us to understand how we can do that in a simple way. Uh, so next Monday, do tune into that session. Uh, Cisco is a proud member of Digital Boost Alliance. And because of that, they put forward a commitment to small businesses just like yourself. And um, a part of that is their health check. And we're also going to touch on this. And we've got a special guest coming in as well. So it's going to be a great session. I hope you guys will join us for that on Monday. So thanks again, Sam, for stepping in this morning as well. You stepped in for Lachlan pretty much last minute, minute as he had a baby. That, well, he didn't have a baby, but <laughs> he might be he's any on dad. maternity leave. So we <laughs> appreciate that. Um, yeah, and it was uh, really just well put together. So thank you so much. Mm. And Felix, you put a lot of work in to get this session off the ground. So we appreciate your time as well. Awesome, awesome. No, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Kakite. Thanks, guys.